2010 Vancouver Paralympic Winter Games, Andy Soule won the first biathlon medal in American Paralympic and Olympic history. Biathlon combines cross-country skiing with rifle marksmanship and is a Paralympic sport that is on the rise in the U.S. The Paralympic sports of biathlon and cross-country skiing are both part of the new U.S. Paralympic Nordic program under the umbrella of the U.S. Olympic Committee who manages and trains a development and national team for IPC World Cup, World Championship and Paralympic Games competitions around the world. Participants with physical disabilities who meet classification standards can compete in one of three categories, standing, sitting, and visually impaired. While cross-country skiing is a very physically demanding sport requiring strength and endurance, biathlon shooting requires mental and physical control. There is no question that biathlon is a sport requiring a true mind and body balance. In competition, biathletes ski a loop, then ski into a shooting range with five shots to hit five targets. With the clock running, the athletes need to be fast and precise as they stop to shoot their targets. And for each target missed, there is a penalty loop that needs to be skied before getting back out on the course. This balance of being simultaneously fast and accurate is a great challenge that creates the drama that defines biathlon. And it is a big hit with many athletes including those who never thought they would be skiers or biathletes. I think biathlon is a wheelchair sport. It's one of the best sports out there. The difference between going downhill, having your heart beat so fast that you know it scares you, and there's a difference between coming out here and making your heart beat fast because uh, you're pushing yourself to the limits. That endorphin rush, the, the cardiovascular, the um, lactic acid burn, I just, uh, I crave that. And so Nordic skiing provides that in, a, in an excellent way that I've never experienced any other way. And you have to like to really push your body. You have to be excited about knowing how far you can push your body because there will come a day when you have to push farther. You have to really dig deep in, the, in a race and uh, a lot of that comes from the training and conditioning. When we're trained every day, we train, train, train hard, but the reward can be greater than maybe a sport that's easier. The travel is pretty unreal. I mean, I certainly wouldn't have seen anywhere near as much as I've seen without this team. So um, I'm very, very fortunate to have had that experience. Like if you throw a dart at a map, that's basically where you're going. And you get to see how that country works and what traveling to that country is like. And, and it's pretty cool because just because you get to see a different way, a different way of, of doing things and a different lifestyle, it's just great. Right now I'm in a good place in life and, and this is the best thing that I could be doing for myself right now. U.S. Paralympics invites more athletes to get involved in Nordic. Camps and clinics are offered year-round to give potential athletes hands-on experience with biathlon shooting and cross-country skiing. This is just the beginning of uh, a pretty serious plan developed by the Olympic Committee and the Paralympic part of the U.S. Olympic Committee to get more high-end athletes involved in the sport. Certain classes, certain factors of athletes are able to uh, become internationally competitive pretty quickly. What we're looking for is someone that likes to train hard. You want to work harder than everyone else out there. That's every day. That's actually what that means. To get involved in the sport, locate a biathlon or Paralympic Nordic program in your area by going to the U.S. Paralympic website at www.usparalympics.org. Click on Winter Sport slash Nordic Skiing or contact us at uspnordic at gmail.com or 719-866-2082. We need you, come ski with me.